Melissa's having a hot flash. I mean, it's not that hot. It's only 76 degrees out. I'm freaking sweaty. I just got yelled at for taking my time in the house and I had the keys. You okay? Yeah, I don't like sweating. It's uncomfortable. The worst feeling ever. This is my mother-in-law, Rocky. Yeah, let's go. And she hasn't gone to sleep yet. She works the night shift. And I'm tired. Want some coffee? No, I had enough coffee that I have to eat. Never mind. Let's go. What? Let's go. All right, let's go. We're going to do a little Christmas shopping. You guys are invited. Oh. You don't even deserve Christmas presents. Yeah, they don't. So let's, buy, let's buy Christmas presents for let's us. Let's go buy some coal. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know what it is, but my children... Since they've started going to middle school, I'm starting to act up a little bit. I mean, not to the point where they're like smoking and drinking, things like that. It's 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 mainly their their mouths. They're kind of mouthing off. They have these like big kid attitudes, if you will. I'm not sure if you're a parent out there and you have middle school kids. And they're, I mean, overall, I can't complain too much. I have good, good behaved kids. Like, they're home alone right now, and I can trust them, and I know that they're not gonna burn the house down. But, right. oh, they're home alone. The problem is, her. <laughs> I, I try to punish the kids, and she'll be like, oh, why? Oh, yeah, like, why are you gonna punish them? Oh, is it okay? And I'm like, no, they need to be punished. Screw that. I don't know. I, I really, really think we should give them some dollar store gifts for Christmas. Why waste the dollar? <laughs> I don't want to waste the dollar. <laughs> That's a snowman. It looks like a chicken here. Or? That's the abominum, abominum uh, snowman. Uh, abominable? Abominum. Abominum. Abominable. Uh, yeah, I'm really digging that jacket. That's pretty awesome. Wonder how much it costs. 20% off. This looks like a $300 jacket. That's not that bad at all. What are those? Let's get a pair of these. <laughs> oh, these are something an old person would wear. Well, let's get, let's get these. Oh, those are nice. I could see you rocking those. Oh, <laughs> You're so beautiful. Give me a kiss. Okay, I'm not like against cheap shoes, okay? Uh, these are really, I, I would say, fairly priced. I mean, more than fair. I mean, look at that. All right, me, like I have flat feet. I have to have comfortable shoes. And to me, like the most comfortable shoe out there, bar none, is Nike. I work and as a hairdresser, and I'm on my feet almost every day. Yeah, have to have comfortable shoes. And I've worn some of these cheaper shoes, and they're not as comfortable. Probably good, like to maybe go out, go out to eat and stuff, and you know, if you want to have a variety of shoes, or if you're just broke and you need some shoes, that's what I would do. When I used to do my homeless shoe drives, I would actually come here and bulk up on several pairs of shoes, cheap ones, and give them to homeless people. Because you could buy so many shoes. I mean, you can't buy like 100 pairs of, of Nikes that are $100 or so each. these nice Christmas trees. Okay, Don't you feel like a failure? No, Cuz, look how nice they look. What? Yeah, but I, I want a magazine tree. Yeah, it won't ring. We have been sitting in traffic for how long? Maybe 25 minutes? And people just like going in the grass and like 
Uh, people so impatient, this doing U-turns. Slow down. We wouldn't have car accidents, but everybody's always in a hurry, or you're texting and driving. And Amen to that. But, you know, it's funny too because no one ever learns. Like as, as many times as you see on the news, like people texting and, and people still do it. I was a professional at it. Don't you born now? <laughs> Honestly, I I got really scared just seeing multiple accidents on the road. I'm always on the road. That I, I I'll usually have my phone on me, like maybe in between my lap or under under my legs or something. And when I'm at a stoplight, I'll pull it out and you know, if, cause I, I get a lot of messages and people texting me for hair appointments and stuff like that. So I gotta have my phone close by. But you know what, my phone doesn't mean that much to me where I, I'll lose my life or maybe ruin someone else's life because of it. So you know, just put the phone down. If you have to, when you're at a stoplight, you look at your phone. And slow down. Your yeah, life slow is more down. Than I mean, what's the rush, man? Everybody's always in a freaking wicked rush around here. And then they get into an accident. Now you gotta stop. And sometimes people don't even stop. They get into an accident and they just keep going. Ooh, you must have landed on. Ooh, oh, look at that. crap. How'd that happen? Flipped. He's on top of the car, Ma. He flipped. Damn. Wow. Oh, you gotta get a closer look at that. Oh, that's what's causing all that traffic. Holy moly. Wonder if they he rolled. Oh my gosh. Damn. He rolled. He had looked like a trailer. What are you wearing? They're bet my feet were hurting. Your feet were hurting? Yeah. Probably look better without socks on, but Nike is always. You're shoes. complaining about Melissa's shoes and look at your shoes. You got like freaking redneck <laughs> shoes on. I love mine. What do you got? Come here. Give me a kiss. You got a lizard. <laughs> he has a lizard. Hey, let me get that lizard. <laughs> that takes skill. Special ninja skills. I, I want to get one of these. Instead of Netflix and chill. I have the power. Whoa. Don't want to break it. <laughs> thing that I absolutely hate about malls is the kiosks in the middle where people just like grab you and they're like oh here you got to try this product well as much as I hate it I have to admit Melissa got suckered in right now hey what's going on over here you, you are the judge take a video take me a picture then you already have been? Huh? Yeah. You, you are already a customer? You are already a customer? Alright, those people, I ain't gonna lie, they're extremely pushy. Aren't they? Very. Like they're, they're just like, here, I'm gonna try this out, I'm gonna put it on your skin, and, and here you go. And I'm gonna do a special price for you. Oh my gosh, I need one of So where do you get those at? You want to rent one? No. Come on. Yeah, they rent them here. Yeah. Are those not the biggest shoes you ever seen in your life? I'm a size 10. And yeah, I could probably fit my shoe in there. Now look at these shoes. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Walk around in those. Oh my gosh, these are. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna walk around in them. Here, here, here. Hold my shoes. Whoa! Hold my shoes, hold my shoes. Dude, I've never seen shoes that big before. <laughs> <laughs> what size are those? 
don't know. <laughs> don't walk around. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Turn turn to the like, side. Omar. Go show my mom. Where is my mom? Oh, right there. Look at these, mom. Check them out. Hey, watch me do the moonwalk. Those things are humongous. <laughs> okay, let's find out what size these are. Uh, size 21. Holy crap. Melissa's punishing me. <laughs> I want to go home. Anytime we shop together. shopping with women. Oh, yeah. You're a worse than I don't want to be here. Okay, I'm gonna embarrass you guys here in a second. Yeah. I'm gonna embarrass you. I wanna go home. Oh, that? Yeah, that'll match your ugly green purse. <laughs> Whatever. I know. Should I get the new purse? You like green today, huh? You know who might like that? Ariel. Ariel. Her and her like fake hair. Color. That is cool. We are in Bed Bath & Beyond now. I don't mind coming to this store because it's actually cool. A little bit of everything, it's not just clothes. They go this way, like Bed Bath & Beyond, like it's beyond. Hey, let's find that uh, way beyond room where we could get that click remote. Remember uh, the Adam Sandler movie, Click? Oh. How are you guys enjoying that free massage? Awesome. Guess who else is getting one? This one's actually... Oh, no, no. oh. oh yeah. Oh. oh. I wish I could offer you a massage here through the video. Uh, but I can't. Sorry. You know, like I offer you food. Yeah, we're just gonna have to come over here to Bed Bath and Beyond, get a massage. How's that one feel? It's good. So which one feels better? They all feel good, huh? Oh yeah. This one's cool because it has different like things on it. Oh you gotta try this one. This one gets your shoulders. Seems to be the one to show it if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Ooh, that's nice. See how it looks like a like a <laughs> looks like a pee pee. <laughs> There's a pee pee rubbing you. Oh. Let me just see if it cool my eyes. Check it out. 